Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to Arstic Candy Gaming. And welcome back to the Caves of Kud, where we have been doing some of that old aimless wandering. Aimless wandering, desperately trying to find any of these locations. We've been looking for Sarek. We've been looking for the Inquisitive College. We've been looking for other worldlies dunes. Nope. Nope, we can't find any of them. So that's left us with... Travelling to Omenpork at the Spindle or travelling to the Goatfolk Village to find Mam and Soul Drinker. Now, if there's anything I know about Goatfolk Villages is they're quite, quite difficult to battle um, being full of goats, obviously. I know nothing about Omenpork and so that is the reason why <laughs> I've decided that that's the place that we're going to charge brainlessly into. I'm gonna stop in the hills and see if there's some stuff that we can uh, we could do here. We're gonna maybe um, loot through, find some garbage, cook up a meal or two. Generally, get ourselves ready for whatever comes. We have had a uh, like a level up in the time in the interim. We'll, we'll say that in the interim. Um, nothing major. Grabbed a couple of shooting skills. Grabbed carbide chef which i'm pretty sure i've taken very late into the game to make much use out of um but i don't know i don't i genuinely don't know with that die um this this is quite a nasty area to be stuck in surrounded by leashes bonjour monsieur leash hi everyone But yes, the plan is to just progress the story somehow. Who is that? Oh, it's our um, our, our uh, floating turret point defense drone is shooting people, isn't it? What is this? This is a flaming iron short sword with a combustion cell, six drams of oil, marveloso. We did pick up a new um companion along our journey, a young um. fork horned gnu but he went the way of many of our fork horned gnu associates uh it didn't survive a dungeon which is unfortunate but there you go fractured microchips um should we stay on the overworld or go through the map we just want to I guess we just want to get to where we're going, don't we? We cannot traverse on the world map. We have to find our way on the surface. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to go pick up that kudzu stem that I've uh, just spotted there. Uh, yeah, let's investigate these ruins. They could be... Ooh, the Trapezus Mabel. Well, I've spotted something here that I don't like. That is mushrooms. I'm concerned about venturing further. I don't really want to uh, have any of my limbs replaced with mushrooms. What are you? A web toed snap jewel scavenger. Good. Let's take our time. Slime drenched hills. Step by step. I want to look at it. Nothing new on there. Thanks. That's all I wanted. Go about your business. 
Reshef. After conferring with mysterious strangers, Reshef convinced them to help it find a harborage for the purpose of receiving visitors from across the clustered cosmos. That's very kind of him. Endless amounts of Reshef law there. <laughs> Hello, what you got there? Nothing. We took the nugget? We took the nugget. That's good. I am a nugget thief. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. I don't know what the banana grove entails. Like, at all. So, this could end really, really badly. Will you be friends with me? No. Cyclopean Gibbon. <laughs> Why would you be friends with me? Why would you? Oh, let's just dance over to the spindle before something terrible happens. Hi, will you be friendly, please? Shrine to Antixes. One night under the beetle moon, a babe was found swaddled with its mouth full of rope. Polymed. Antixes. Reshef. The Tezor Bane Ixes. Okay, so what are these? The Statue of the Eater features erupt from a stone canvas and shatter into a figure from the deep past. Hair, skin, brow, thigh. The details hatch a new emotion inside you, the sense of the strange familiar. As you move about the petrified likeness, you wonder at how this eater managed to incise himself inside into your space-time braid. Do they all say the same? Oh my goodness. Uh, us photolite. Can we pick those bad boys? I've gone quiet now because I'm concerned. After treating with worms, Polymed II convinced them to help her found a workshop in the salt worshipping quarter of Sapur. For the purpose of glass blowing mirrors, they named it the Glazed Workshop. Cool. Oh, I'm filled with endless worry here as to what, what I may stumble across. Maybe it's unfounded. Maybe it's, uh,. If you've been worried for nothing and I should have been coming here long, long ago. Harvested a banana there. Don't know if anyone noticed that. Yummy. Looking forward to popping that bad boy in my mouth. Plenty of potassium. Thankfully, there has been nothing too worrisome up to this point. That door's got a skull upon it. So I feel that maybe there will be something worrisome in but a moment. What have we here? A banana rancher. She maneuvers under a tunic made from sackcloth and braided goat hair. Her olive skin and straw hair glisten with spindle dust. Hi. Yeah, bananas. 
sun-dried bananas. Add artifact-based effects to cooked meals. Hmm. Tell me more. Let's preserve these fresh foods. And then eat goat and sweet loaf. Psychometry. Whenever you take damage, there's a 10% chance you teleport all creatures surrounding you. I'm just going to auto-explore this entire village. Hello there. You are Warden 1FF, the reprogrammed, cons reprogrammed conservator. Stuck to their rind of mirrored chrome sequins are two separate ecologies, the crispy dead growths of the inner tomb and the verduous malt of the grove life. As the years spin by and the Colossus adjusts to the sun-drenched outer world, the latter consumes the former. Admired by the villagers of Ezra. Hang on, don't we have an... Ezra Recoiler, we do. Could just bloody recoiled here, couldn't we? That would have saved us some time. Your thirst is mine. We're favoured by the Fellowship of Wardens. Do you have any trade? No. We will continue to explore your village, sir. In fact, we'll probably steal some of this water if it's at all possible. We will not be able to explore and steal this water. Mural of Polymed I, Inkwell Shelter. Remember the Battle of Terramold Spire, where, with shrewd eyes peeled, Polymed wielded his rifle and struck down the astral octahedron kinfolk in the name of love. Remember afterward how apes and cohorts cried out in gloom for days and days. I do, I recall it quite distinctly, as though it were only yesterday. Hi there, are you merely a banana trader? Well, that is of no use to me, sir. You, however, what are you? Traveller, put down your mangled trinkets and I will repair them. Who are you? She gives you a hard stare. I am a daughter of exile, but you should call me Ila Haj. Daughter of exile? Tinker nuns, the world sees fit to call us that, my sisters and me. Do you know the story told of Rebecca the Exile? She was a teacher to Reshef, but he excommunicated her from the Sultanate and banished her from the realm. To know her, I've chosen a life of unbelonging, and amongst my sisters I have the honour of permanent residence by her gravesite. I'll tell you this, traveller, the shape of a society is visible only from the outside, and there is peace beyond a boundary. Wasn't Rebecca a healer? Why are you an order of tinkers? You presume too narrow a meaning of health. Ah, marvellous. Tell me about this ancient village. Ezra sits in the shadow of history where small things grow. It's the moss beneath the statue quite literally for centuries monarchs concerned themselves with felling trees and now of the covenant only Ezra remains. It's home to Rebecca's gravesite, so for the daughters it is a sacred place. You may notice more of us pill on pilgrimage. Who's the man camped near the graveyard? Zothom. I don't see utility in unkindness, but he's a fool. We're at that proximity to meekness made one meek. I have no use for a man who seeks salvation in the body of a dead woman. What do you think of the plant you share this building with? I don't. Marvellous. Live and drink, Tinker. Um, let's see who likes you. Loved. Oh, cool. People like you, so maybe I should like you. Scaled? Time cubes? Repair? Do we already have repair? I'd be surprised if we didn't. We don't. I might take that, actually. Hmm. Hmm.
Oh, you also are a trader. So, high capacity, mag hammer, resonance grenade, scarab passenger. This bowl shaped basket of scrounged textiles and padded in yearns. Sorry, I'm padding yawns with the promise of a humble, comfortable embrace, followed by a laborious escape. <laughs> Marvellous. Maybe we should um, get high capacity and turn all of our... Um, yeah, our cells into high capacity cells. We're going to do that. Maybe we'll do that later, though. We don't really need to do it right now, do we? So we'll learn it, at least. So we know that we can do it. Hello there. Zothom the Penitent. Let's have a look at who you are first. As still as if he were hone, ho hewn from the trunk of a tree, he stands vigil. He wears a cloak nearly as weathered as he, and gnarled hands grip the hilt of a naked greatsword. He wears a quartz fur hat, leather cloak, la jeunesse. I've no idea what la jeunesse is, but I love it. I'm Narf. Who are you? I am one of no importance, but my name is Zotham, and some call me the Penitent. The Penitent? I was once a vile grave robber, the lowest of the low. Years ago I sought to plunder the tomb of the Eaters and set off to do so with a pair of confederates. I watched both of them die, slain by ancient artifice and entombed within the ancient dead. I would have shared their fate but for the coterie of Mopango nesting in the catacombs. They kept me safe and fed me while I treated my wounds. It is in their honour that I seek a credo now. Mopango? Mopango are plated digging creatures whose scale armors or armor scales glow a pale white. They are contem contemplative, sociable, and mostly peaceful. They commune with ancient objects, which is why a coterie of their kind lives in the tomb of the eaters. They are patient they are patient even with rough hewn wanderers such as we. But it is still not best to ask one to explain their credo. I'd like to meet these Mopango. If you do find yourself in the tomb, the Mapango settlement is nestled in the wall of the northwest catacombs. The entrance is guarded by a chain turret, turret named Vivara, brightly painted to distinguish them from their brethren. Resist your reflective urge to fight or flee, as Vivara is friendly and open to parley. If you meet, tell him I sent you. Speak to a turret. I suppose I will. A new quest which we have never seen. This is wonderful. You speak like a warden. I am own, I am no warden. My only fellowship is with my own shame. What are you doing here? Um, we're done with that conversation. Actually, we have we have gained what we can from you, sir. Is there anything to be gained from exploring around uh, the gravesite? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Just robbing graves. What else is located in this area? Oh joy, another meat being. Please tell me you're here to buy something. I'm Narf. You are? I am Sixshrew, a merchant from the Consortium of Fighter disinclined to waste my time on talkative strangers. I sell things, and you can buy them. I would in fact strongly encourage you to buy them, or be on your way. Why are you called Sixshrew? Why are you called Pest? Because I'm a pest. Just so. Would you like to buy something, pest? You're being a bit rude. You're being a bit annoying. So I suppose both of us have our burdens to bear. Perhaps we should do some trading and move on with our lives? Uh, is something the matter? Oh, I'm fine. Fine. I simply adore being assigned this stinking backwater musa grove after decades of service. Unceremoniously dumped in an office next to a fleshy tinker who works day and night making all manner of racket through the thinnest, most conductive walls ever crafted. What is it, you humans say? Living the dream. Yes, I am living the dream. Okay, let's see what you've got, you grumpy bastard. Flawless crystal coronet. 
Blast furnaces sucked the tidal energy out of the planet, heated carbon to solar temperatures, and poured it into a hexagonal moulds. Is that an helmet? It looks like an helmet. A weird artifact. Taco Supreme. And a Cutlass Supreme. Flawless Crystal Longsword. I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. Do never yearn for change. Anything we can sack off here. Just going to get rid of that. The man is. We will take some more slugs. Because why not? We don't need the energy of the artifact. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't know what it is, but we don't need it. Is there naught else to explore in this region? This motion of the river, Svei, cuts no fire, warms my bones. Oh, okay. This motion of the river, something, but no fire warms my bones. Okay, so. Visit the Mapango settlement in the Tomb of the Eaters. Find Vivera, a friendly turret in the northwest catacombs, and tell them that Zotham sent you. Travel to Omen Pork. We will attempt to do that if that works out for us. I don't really know how if that's going to work out for us, but tis the cards we are dealt. Okay, you can't traverse via the world map so i'm guessing we need to enter through these doors up here Passina have transformed the cyclopean bronze doors into the great shelves of sea foam and coral the theater of life is depicted on the panels in high relief palm leaves lift pyramids into the star ribbon sky and water pours over the lip of an oinacho Lovers yoke across the frieze and goats chew coppercud on the cornices. As do I. Let's see if the other one says anything different. No! The gates are sealed for eternity. This one didn't say that, did it? Okay. How about over here? Is there anything over here? Oh my goodness. Oh, I have grave concerns here. Grave indeed. How does one make it to Omen Pork if not through the Great Gates? <laughs> Temporal Fugue, Psychometry. That must just be a passive then.
Oh, you swell with inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal. Let's do that straight away then. So, choose our ingredients. We'll go with our, our old faithful bear jerky. Then, some star apple jam. Give me some of that honey there. So, plus three saves to disease. Whenever you use a salve or albinestra medrector, uh, you heal to full 15% of the time. Plus three to saves versus disease. Whenever you take damage, there's an eight to ten chance you heal 10, uh, 15 to 20 HP. Hmm. We'll go with that. Narf's jerky honey apples. Nice. That's what we like. Nah, finally getting some recognition from his cooking skills. It's what we've strived for from day one. Apparently. I've got a feeling that we're wasting our time coming up here. I don't think we're going to get where we need to be traveling around the outside of the Great Spindle. Ooh, a path. Just have a quick look. We'll just have a quick look and see what's there. And then we'll come back. Cool, more paths. Even Fulcrete. Can we bash through that? We seemingly can. Okay, I don't think we were meant to do this. And um, we need to be in the northwest corner. Oh. The northwest catacombs. How would one have got here otherwise? What is this? A strip fly. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Do we have any torches or anything? Because we have dropped our ass into somewhere stupid. Please tell me you haven't got rid of all your floating glow spheres, you pillock. Okay, we did. We got rid of all of our floating glow spheres. So... This is going to be fun.
What did we find then? We found something painted. What was it? Did we pick it up? Um, we'll just carry on and explore the catacombs because I don't really know what else to do now. We've made a mistake. We fell, fell down a hole that we shouldn't have been anywhere near, really. A glittermensch boulderer and death pilgrim of the second Polymedian society. He sounds fun, I'll be honest. Oh. Oh, they're not gonna they're not gonna survive long anyway what's this some rough agate gemstone let's pick that up cheers hi grave robber how are you do you have anything that can help me here i'm in a tricky position I could just kill him. I could just kill him. The bell of rest tolls. The dead will be recalled in 140 rounds. Uh, what? Run away. We need to get out of here quickly. What is this? A waveform worm. Oh my goodness. It finally happened. It finally happened. <laughs> no! Oh, Narf. You were a lovely bloke, but... It all went wrong. The game ended on Wednesday the 21st of July. We were illuminated to death by a conservator. Level 26. My goodness. Well, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a wonderful adventure for Narf. We finally made it beyond not being able to do anything with uh, Professor Sousa. Um, we had a great adventure. I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite, quite sad and don't really know uh, how to express that sadness. But lots was learnt and uh, hopefully we can take all of that information further into our future runs. Hopefully we can try something uh, fresh and new on the next one. Maybe we'll go for a true kin build. It's been some time. But for now, sadly, on behalf of myself and from Narf, I've been asking Candy Gaming. You've been bloody marvellous, as always. I would really appreciate it if you would like the video, comment and subscribe and all that other wonderful stuff. And we'll catch you on the next series of the Caves of Kud. You take care now. Goodbye.